but it kept wanting to do that. And then I told you guys yesterday before I, I think it was just before I left or later in the day, I said, spy wants to come back up to VWAP. That was the bounce here, moved up to VWAP, pulled back, moved up to VWAP, pulled back, and then all the way through. Right. So if you catch some of these running in these little cycles, right, where they where it just consistently is up, down, up, down, up, down. These are the things you need to watch for. Right. That's a little far away. But so here's VWAP pulls back, VWAP pulls back, VWAP. Do you see how many times? So yes, sir. and then I told you guys yesterday too, right, watch for these triple bottoms and all this other stuff that was happening. And then we were able to play off of those as well. Uh, which was here, here, and here. Remember, that's where it was when I told you guys, here's the triple bottom. That was this, 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 and then I said it's going to VWAP, which it did. Then it pulled all the way back, and I saw one of you guys is like, it's going for a quad bottom. It never got all the way there, but close enough. Pulled all the way back up again. Pulled all the way back down again. And then... <laughs> kill every option that was all in puts for the day because everybody by the way that last drive if you look at the overall market for the whole day what is it doing all day right so how many puts do you think were bought up from open until the last eight minutes of the day you think everybody bought puts or calls my vote would be a put that's right, because it was down all day, right? So everybody loaded the boat in puts. And everybody lost all their money in the last eight minutes of the day. See it? Everybody that bought puts yesterday that was holding through the end of the day lost all of their money. All of it at the very end of the day. Do you guys see this? Yes, sir. Yes. Crazy. So this is why, and, and then I'm telling you, this looks like an options Friday thing, right? So you've got to be careful. And this is why it is so, and look at it pegged it just below. Look at, right? Like, look at these numbers. These are garbage. This is why I tell you guys to use your stops, right? Think about this. Now, I know a lot of us, you know, a lot of you are not trading SPY, so not tons of concern, but I, you know, if you look at Apple and stuff, it probably did the same thing, which drove this, right? So the reason I'm saying this is, let's say you were driving, you were like, yeah, these puts are great all day, right? Woo. And then you don't have a stop in. If you don't have a stop in and you're in here and you're like, oh, okay, it's still okay. Well, I hope it's okay. Well, I don't know. This isn't good. We'll wait for the 200. Oh, well, it's just past the 200, but that's okay. Right? It's like the longer you sit in this, the more you're going to get crushed. And this is all within eight minutes. You had eight minutes. If you move your stops, right? Let's say I had a stop right here. If we start hand manipulating, then I moved it here. And then I moved it here. And I'm like, oh, it'll come back. And then I moved it here. Look at what we're doing to ourselves. It's better to take the loss. Even if it's substantial, it's better to take the loss where you originally wanted it. And I don't care if, right, I bought all this down here, it comes up and it stops me out and then it goes, oh, I knew it was going to go there. You can't do that to yourself. Because you don't know. And, yeah, that's right. You can never, ever second guess yourself, put in a hard stop. You put it there for a reason, right? If you didn't put it there, then it wouldn't have mattered. But since you put it there, you were looking at everything. You were identifying something and then figure out why, what, when, how, and why you put it there. Because that way, next time you might go, all right, the stop probably shouldn't have been this tight, but for sure, right, when it hit this key critical level, that's where I should have been. Because maybe it touches like up here and then it pulls back. Then you can identify why did I have a stop at, you know, whatever level I did it at. Right. That that will help you to learn. But if you keep second guessing yourself and you keep moving your stops all over the place, I'm telling you from experience, you will get burned every day until you learn where to put your stop. Right. Because maybe in the beginning, it's a learning curve. Maybe you're putting your stop in the wrong place and then it goes to a spot and then it goes where you want. Well, then evaluate. That's a great learning opportunity to go, why was my stop there? Should that have been the right spot? Was that a good call? Why was it or why wasn't it? 
That's when we go back to our journal. Happy face or frown face, right? <laughs> Literally. Yes. Stop should have been here. Instead, I had it here, you know, or whatever it is. And then you got to determine why and write it down. I did not look at a key support and or resistance level. I had my stop too tight instead of using this or that. And then it did, you know, the opposite. Something quick, easy, fast, little picture to help yourself. Um, yesterday, let me show you some of these moves, okay? Now, yesterday I had identified some of these key areas. Now you can see this, by the way, is look is what my screen looks like when I'm in here trading. Do you see how much I have, how much I'm recalculating? <laughs> Right. And then I come in here in the morning and I just delete them all. And you guys are like, oh my gosh, that's because as I'm trading, I am creating all these levels. Do you see all these?